In the world of global finance, 2023 was a year when some staggering money laundering scandals came to light, revealing the persistent challenges faced by regulatory bodies and financial institutions in combating illicit financial activities. From sophisticated schemes to exploit vulnerabilities in traditional banking systems, to the growing complexities presented by decentralized technologies like blockchain, the year unfolded with a series of high-profile cases that underscored the need for robust anti-money laundering measures. As authorities grappled with these scandals, global connectivity and criminal intent became increasingly apparent, reshaping the way of financial compliance and sparking conversations about the urgent need for heightened vigilance in the years to come. In today's video, we will be taking a look at money laundering scandals in 2023, the red flags to spot in suspected money laundering, and why training is critical to continue the fight against financial crime. Hello, and welcome to another KYC Lookup video, where we bring you AML-related content to help you enhance your knowledge in the fight against money laundering. Before diving into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Oh, and don't forget to leave us a comment with any suggested topics you would like us to cover in the future. So, on to today's video. What is money laundering? Money laundering is the process of disguising the origins of illegally obtained funds, typically by passing them through a complex sequence of banking transfers or commercial transactions. The aim is to make the illicitly gained assets appear legitimate, obscuring their true source and enabling individuals or entities involved in criminal activities to enjoy the proceeds without attracting suspicion from law enforcement or financial institutions. Money laundering often involves various intricate methods to legitimise dirty money creating a facade of legality and complicating the tracing of funds back to the criminal origins. Money Laundering Scandals of 2023 A money laundering scandal refers to a publicised or high-profile event involving the exposure of illicit financial activities, wherein individuals, organisations or entities engaged in money laundering. Such scandals typically unfold when there is evidence or revelations about the manipulation of financial systems, complex transactions, or the exploitation of regulatory loopholes to conceal the illicit origins of funds. So let's take a look at the money laundering scandals of 2023. Binance Binance was one of the world's largest and most popular cryptocurrency exchanges, offering a wide range of trading services for various digital assets. Binance provides a platform for users to buy, sell and trade a diverse array of cryptocurrencies. It also offers other services, such as futures and margin trading, staking, savings and its native cryptocurrency called Binance Coin, BNB. However, Binance was rocked by a huge scandal as it was discovered that they had been in violation of anti-money laundering regulations and had ignored over 100,000 suspicious transactions that could have been used for money laundering. Mr. Chang Peng Zhao had to step down as CEO in order to never work for the company again and had to pay an eye-watering fine of $50 million as well as the company itself paying a fine of over $4 billion. FTX FTX, founded by Sam Bankman-Fried in 2019, initially soared as a prominent trading platform, attracting customers and substantial venture capital investments. By January 2022, the company's valuation had reached an impressive $32 billion. However, the narrative took a drastic turn in November 2022 when what initially seemed like an accounting oversight unraveled into a significant fraud revelation. Billions of dollars were lost as it was surfaced that customers' funds had been diverted to accounts controlled by Alameda Research, a Hong Kong-based cryptocurrency trading firm, rather than remaining with FTX. The fallout escalated with Bankman-Fried's arrest 
on December the 12th, 2022, on multiple fraud charges, including money laundering, wire fraud, campaign finance violations, and securities fraud. Released on a historic $250 million bond, Bankman Fried faces a significant legal battle and faces a possible 115 years in prison. As of January 2023, $5 billion in assets have been recovered, yet an estimated $8 billion remains missing. FTX investors initiated a class action lawsuit on November 15, 2022, alleging false representation, deceptive conduct, and accusing FTX of operating a Ponzi scheme to misappropriate funds and shuffle customers' money between entities. Deutsche Bank Deutsche Bank has been on our list of violations many times before, and here they are again. Being fined in July of 2023 for failing to significantly address money laundering control problems and other shortcomings previously flagged by the US Central Bank. This time they were fined $186 million for unsafe and unsound practices relating to sanction compliance and money laundering controls stemming from its involvement with the scandal-ridden Estonian branch of Danske Bank. And even though Deutsche Bank has been fined many times over the years, they still don't seem to be able to be fully compliant. As one of the largest banks continues to fall below the threshold of fully following its policies and procedures, it does make me think if just finding them is actually working. Crown Crown is Australia's largest casino operator, and in May 2023, they were fined $450 million for anti-money laundering violations. Crown Resorts acknowledged its failure to effectively monitor and report suspicious transactions at its Melbourne and Perth casinos, therefore neglecting crucial measures to prevent potential money laundering activities linked to criminal organisations, drug traffickers, and potential terrorists. Over the period from March 2016 to March 2022, Crown neglected to adequately supervise approximately 550 high-risk customers. Worryingly, the federal court revealed instances where funds were delivered to casinos in unconventional methods, such as suitcases and paper bags, or transferred between accounts through overseas junket operators who, regrettably, failed to conduct essential legitimacy checks on the funds. This lapse in due diligence has raised serious concerns about Crown's adherence to anti-money laundering protocols and its susceptibility to illicit financial activities. In a time unindated with information and an array of enacted regulations and policies, it is disconcerting to observe that prominent and trusted organisations continue to fall short of their established standards when it comes to adherence to anti-money laundering laws and regulations. The concerning reality is that, despite the wealth of resources and guidelines available, some major entities still struggle to meet the expected benchmarks to ensuring compliance with these crucial legal frameworks. So is more training the answer? Let's take a look at Why training is critical to continue the fight against financial crime. Training is crucial in the fight against money laundering, as it equips professionals with the knowledge and skills needed to detect and prevent illicit financial activities. Ongoing training ensures that individuals remain vigilant, compliant with regulations, and adept at employing advanced tools to stay ahead of sophisticated money laundering schemes. The training should include the following. Adaption to evolving tactics. Financial criminals continually adapt and refine their tactics to exploit vulnerabilities. Regular training ensures that individuals involved in combating financial crime stay updated on the latest trends, emerging threats and innovative methods employed by criminals. Compliance and regulatory requirements Financial institutions and professionals must adhere to complex web of laws and regulations designed to prevent and detect financial crime. Training helps ensure that individuals are well-versed in compliance requirements, reducing the risk of regulatory breaches and associated penalties. 
Enhanced detection skills. Training programs provide professionals with skills and knowledge needed to effectively detect unusual patterns, red flags, and potential indicators of financial crime. This increased awareness is crucial for identifying suspicious activities promptly. Technological advancements. As technology evolves, so do the tools and techniques used by financial criminals. Training programs help individuals understand and leverage advanced technologies for improved monitoring, analysis, and detection of financial crime. Promotion of a compliance culture. Regular training fosters a culture of compliance within organizations. When employees are educated about the importance of adherence to anti money laundering, AML, and counter terrorist financing, CFT measures. They are more likely to incorporate these principles into their daily activities. Risk mitigation. Financial institutions face substantial risks relating to financial crime, including reputational damage, financial losses, and legal consequences. Training equips individuals to identify, assess, and mitigate these risks effectively. Global cooperation. Given the global nature of financial transactions, international cooperation is essential in combating financial crime. Training programs facilitate a shared understanding of best practices, fostering collaboration among professionals and organisations worldwide. Employee empowerment. Well-trained employees are empowered to make informed decisions take appropriate actions, and contribute actively to the prevention and detection of financial crime. This empowerment strengthens the overall resilience of financial institutions. Continuous improvement. Financial crime prevention is an ongoing process that requires continuous improvement. Training programs provide opportunities for professionals to learn from past incidents, adopt lessons learned, and implement enhancements to existing systems and procedures. And public trust and confidence. A strong commitment to fighting financial crime backed by well-trained professionals enhances public trust and confidence in financial institutions. This in turn contributes to an overall integrity and stability of the financial system. Red flags to spot in suspected money laundering. Recognising potential money laundering involves identifying red flags that may indicate illicit financial activities. Some red flags to be vigilant for include Unusual transaction patterns Frequent large transactions or unusual patterns that deviate from the norm for a particular individual or business. Frequent cash transactions Repeated high-value cash transactions, especially if they seem disproportionate to the individual's or business's regular activities. Rapid movement of funds. Swift and frequent transfers of funds between various accounts or across borders, particularly with no clear business rationale. Use of shell companies. Transactions involving shell companies or entities with substantive business purpose often used to obscure the source of funds. Incomplete or altered documentation. Providing incomplete, inconsistent or altered documentation as part of the transaction process. High-risk jurisdictions. Involvement with parties or transactions from high-risk jurisdictions known for money laundering or lack of regulatory oversight. Unusual business relationship. Engaging in business relationships that seem unusual, given the industry or the nature of the business. Reluctance to provide information. Unwillingness or hesitation to provide requested information, especially when it comes to verifying identities or explaining the purpose of transactions. Overuse of third-party platforms. Over-reliance of third-party platforms such as online payment systems or cryptocurrency services, which can facilitate anonymous transactions. And complex transaction structures. Involvement in transactions with unnecessary complex structures, 
designed to obscure the true nature of financial dealings. It's important to mention that the presence of one or more red flag does not necessarily confirm money laundering, but these indicators should prompt further investigation and due diligence to ensure compliance with anti-money laundering laws and regulations. Financial institutions and regulatory bodies often use these red flags as part of their risk assessment processes. Well, there you have it. Money laundering scandals of 2023, the red flags to spot in suspected money laundering, and why training is critical to continue the fight against financial crime. Please tell us in the comments section if you think even more needs to be done to combat money laundering, and any other topics you would like us to cover in the future. We have now launched our very own fully accredited courses for you to take a more in-depth look at a variety of subjects, such as introduction to AML, beneficial ownership, and customer risk rating, for example. So make sure you visit our website for further details and let us help you connect the dots in KYC. Thank you for watching the video. And if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more amazing videos.